Hey guys, what's up? Today I thought it'd be super fun if we went to Grand Central Market and showed you all the cool and vegan food that we can find. This is actually my first time in here, so I'm so freaking excited and I'm also really, really hungry. So with all that being said, let's get right in. just bring all the food to my house and try it out. Oh. Hi everyone. What's up? Um, oh, sorry to cut you off. <laughs> and welcome to It's Mandarin. Featuring Tarishi <laughs> Doshi. T-Dosh. <laughs> T-Dosh in the house. I'm giving myself a shout out. Okay, well cool. We're, we're here. Oh. We're ready to shoot. So we ended up getting four? Four different restaurants. Okay, yeah, we, I we got getting, multiple meals from each restaurant. I was like, how do I say this? <laughs> so we went to four different restaurants that offered vegan items. There was another hot dog place that offered a vegan hot dog, but they were sold out. These were like pretty much all the vegan options that we can find. I don't really remember the name of the restaurants, but I will try to link it down below for you guys. So care to explain? Oh, <laughs> throwing it to <laughs> you me. You are my go. guest. <laughs> okay, so we got a Filipino rice bowl, two sandwiches from the PB and J place. Ooh, yeah. So. One of them is Italian, which has tomato, basil, fake meat, something. Does it have fake meat? What is provolone? Provolone is just cheese. Oh my god, fake cheese. You thought it was fake meat? <laughs> yeah, I provolone. Oh my god. But this entire place is plant-based. So this is like a plant-based provolone, which I've never tried. Yeah, me either. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, from the same PB&J place, we got a classic PB&J, which mm -hmm. is peanut butter and we, jelly. We needed to try the classic, the yeah, OG. Always. This is just a ramen. They offer a vegan egg, and I forgot to order with the vegan egg. Oh my god. I know. It I looks... they already gave it with that. No, you, you like pay an extra $3 for it. And then it also comes with its broth, which is like sunflower seed base. I'm not sure, but um, this is their garlic one. I forgot to mention that. And then we got their Bon mi poutine. She thought it was like an actual bon mi sandwich, and then um, don't we, make that mistake. <laughs> don't make that mistake. It's actually just bon mi flavored. But poutine is, I believe, just like fries, fries and cheese. Oh, okay. Yeah, with like gravy. It's a Canadian oh, that makes thing. Sense. Yeah. Okay. Here we got this pasta with like olive oil, chili flakes, garlic, and then we added mushrooms in there too. So, as our beverage, we also got. Golden Road Hazy IPA. So they actually have a Golden Road spot there and they have so many different beer and um, we decided to just buy a six pack for seven bucks. So not that bad. Yeah. All right. I, I, I just like, I saw so you sorry. Sorry. I was like, anyways, <laughs> let's Bye do now. another. Okay, what should we start off with? I have no idea. Maybe we just go left to right. Yeah, let's do left to right. So this is the Italian sandwich. Mmm. That's, That's really, really good. good. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's very cheesy. There's like a tomato yeah. jam in it, and it makes it like taste amazing. There's wow. Like arugula, some basil, right? That is amazing. Wow. Should we move into the PB and J? Mm. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Oh my god. We could have done a peanut butter bowl. <gasps> mm. That's good. It tastes like an impressible, but just but like fresh. But fresh. And they like stuff the hell out of it. And there's like whole pieces of strawberry. I will say though, that savory one was so good. That was shocking how good it was. Oh like I was God. not anticipating it at, at all. Because I haven't even heard that good of things about that place. People like raving about it or being like, that's a spot to try, you know? So fire, highly recommend going there. Everything is plant-based, everything's vegan, so check it out. Well, okay. Next thing, the rice bowl. Yeah, let's do it. Do we mix it? I don't know. Oh my God, this looks like very meaty, but it's eggplant. Mmm. Oh yeah. Wait, this is really good too. This is great. We kind of got this one on a whim because we were just looking for vegan food, but shit, this is really good. It's so well seasoned. I love all the veggies that added on top. Oh my God, this is the eggplant. Wait, that is so cool. Oh my God. It's like they just put the entire eggplant in there. How do they even cut it up? I don't even understand. I don't understand either. Wow. How do we cut it up? The vegetables are cooked perfectly. It's mm. like they're not like overcooked or like soggy or anything. Wow, this food is like really good so far. It's actually surpassing 
My expectations. Exactly. I can, I can remember the rest of the phrase. We can finish each other's sentences all day. Don't worry. Oh my God. Okay. So next thing we got the ramen. Oh, let's get it. What are these little packets? I don't know, but it came with them. Ooh. It's so interesting that it's green. Yeah, I like that more. It makes it more aesthetic. It's all about the aesthetics. <laughs> let's dig in. So flavorful. Sorry. <laughs> That scared me. It's so flavorful. Whoa. Right? That's really good. Oh my gosh. What is this? I love the veggies they added in here. I don't know. Oh, they have garlic. Dude, I'm like in food heaven right now. I feel like eating it too, like as soon as they make it. Oh my God. When it's hot and fresh phenomenal. and ready for you. I've honestly never had such flavorful ramen. I feel mm. like I never cared for it that much because I never thought it was that flavorful, but this one is like. I always end up adding hot sauces or like soy sauce, mm -hmm. which changes the flavor of the broth. Mm -hmm. But this is like perfect on its mm -hmm. own. It's so good. Okay, I think I'm already getting full. What? Are you? Oh, I could definitely continue eating. I think we should mix this one. I can't believe this is fresh pasta. Like, what? Mm. Oh my god, like how did you even do that? Mmm. The pasta mm. is super soft. It has such mouth. a good texture. Spicy. I don't know if I'm crazy about it. Neither. I think it's missing salt. salt. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty bland. I thought they would put more like lemon in it. Yes, it needs more lemon for sure. Yeah. This pasta is just so freaking beautiful. Like it's a work of art. I think this is probably my least favorite so far. Yeah, I agree. It, it just needs the salt, <laughs> I think. Salt or like because they had two vegan options. They had this one, which is like the lemon, oils, and red pepper. Or they had marinara, and we should've gone there. We should've gone the marinara. Yeah. I feel like it would've been really good. Um, okay, next time. So yeah, our recommendation, get the tomato sauce. Okay. The pasta itself is really good. It's so good. Okay, and then last thing, our poutine. <laughs> All right, shall we dig in? Yeah, let's do it. Mm. They're pretty good. It's just cheesy fries. I'm having a hard time getting off of the whole pasta situation. Like, my mouth is kind of on fire. I don't know if I can taste this. <laughs> oh my god, really? Yeah. This is really good. This reminds me of the epitome of drunk food. Mmm. Like, is this spicy? <laughs> Why is my mouth on fire? My mouth's a little bit on fire, too. Like, from where? So it's a little spicy. I like it, though. Okay, so mm. the whole concept of this being banh mi, I think, is really throwing me. And I think they have to name it something different, because it does not taste at all like banh mi. Nothing. They literally put cilantro and pickled Yeah, vegetables. I honestly think calling this a banh mi poutine, I it's not the name. Too much. But I really do like this poutine. It's good. I've never tried it before. I've always wanted to, but they never had like vegan versions anywhere. Go them for like making a plant-based version. All right, so what's okay. your favorite thing out of everything? I think that the two things that had the most shock factor, actually, do you want to go first? No, I asked you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I doubted myself. I think we're the Italian sandwich and then um, the ramen. I think my favorite things were... Definitely that sandwich, which is so crazy because I did not expect to like At it so all. much. It's yeah. so flavorful. Second place, either the rice really bowl good. or the poutine. This one is very good, but you know, it's just another good ramen to me. I feel like I've never really eat stuff like this. The so that's why really like I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing. All right, well, today was fun. It was so fun. We're gonna have food like for today and tomorrow. And the day after. We should not after. have gone grocery shopping. <laughs> that was a mistake. Thinking? That was a mistake. <laughs> I regret it. Well, now you guys know what to get next time you go to Grand Central Market. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more from me and Tarishi. Oh, I thought you forgot my name for a second. <laughs> Three pots. That's because I needed a burger. <laughs> Down below, I will link Tarishi's um, Instagram down below if you want to check her out. And with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.